Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you five things that I do on a consistent basis that allows me to stay in control of depression. Number one, baby steps. Doing things in stages helps tremendously. That way tasks don't seem so daunting and exhausting. Taking baby steps allowed me to set in a firm foundation of achievable habits. These habits slowly grew over time, but only when I felt I was ready. These new habits helped me keep structure, which in return helped my depression. One example I use baby steps with is number two, exercise. When going through a bad depression period, I would set a minimum for myself of how long and how often I would exercise during the week. For example, I would make a commitment to myself to work out two to three days a week for 30 minutes at a time. I would also plan what type of exercise I would do, and usually I would choose cardio because cardio is usually what helped me feel my best. I would make a promise to myself that I would stick to this plan, no matter how lethargic, unmotivated, or hopeless I may have felt. Exercise releases endorphins, which is usually why I felt better afterwards. Exercise can have similar benefits as an antidepressant. These are the reasons I would try to follow through with my promise because I knew I would find some relief afterwards, along with long term if I consistently continued on. I eventually added more days and sometimes longer workouts as well. Number three is diet. I do my best to take care of my body. I usually try to eat healthy about 80% of the time. I try to not be too hard on myself if I do end up slipping up and I make sure to get back on track afterwards. I avoid alcohol. Alcohol is a depressant which can actually make depression worse. I also make sure to drink plenty of water throughout the day. Dehydration can also affect your mental health negatively. Number four, keep a daily plan and schedule. I keep a daily schedule of what needs to be done or what I may need to prioritize to keep my mental health in check. I do this by using a planner. I even write down small, simple tasks. For example, don't forget to water the plant. Planning helps me stay on track and helps me keep on top of my mental health. This way, tasks are not piling up, and this also allows an escape for anxiety because I'm getting it out of my mind and onto paper. Number five, keep your home tidy. A messy home can cause a messy mind. Having a clean home always helps me feel lighter and not weighed down by clutter. I usually always try to make sure my dishes are done the night before and my kitchen is cleaned up so I can wake up to a fresh start and not chaos. I took my time getting to where I am today because some days it felt impossible to even just get out of bed. But small little steps over time got me to where I am today. I also realized that the more I gave into depression, the worse I would end up feeling. So I try my best most days to keep going. All I've mentioned in this video is of course to not replace professional help, but to use as tools along the way. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. And please hit the thumbs up if you've liked this video and subscribe if you would like to see more of my content in the future. Thank you. Bye.